The new Omicron variant spread quickly in southern Africa. It may be the most contagious form of COVID so far. A variant of serious concern, which is now driving this uh, uh, spike in numbers. It's not known yet if Omicron will be more severe. The World Health Organization has designated it a variant of concern, which triggers new surveillance, new studies, new reporting from countries around the world. This variant has a large number of mutations, and some of these mutations have some worrying characteristics. The Omicron variant has an estimated 50 mutations, most on spike proteins, many more mutations than the Delta variant. There's concern Omicron may be more transmissible. A further the concern, will vaccines and natural immunity offer as much protection now? Due to the potential for increased transmissibility and the possibility of increased resistance to vaccine-induced protection, we are concerned about this new variant and closely monitoring the evolving situation. Some epidemiologists say we should not overreact in this country because vaccines will certainly make a difference. We have a wall of immunity, and even if there is a new variant, it's not going to be easy for it to rip through the area like it did with Delta. But worldwide, there aren't enough vaccines. Globally, 7.9 billion shots have been administered, about one dose for every person on Earth. But the inequity is apparent. Most countries are well along, but Africa clearly is not. In Canada, 78% have received at least one vaccine. In all of Africa, just 10%. That's where this mutation occurred. <laughs> News of Omicron sparked a sell-off on world markets. Coupled with new international travel restrictions, it's evidence that a new variant anywhere affects nations everywhere. Until there is a sustainable vaccine strategy for everyone in this world who, who, who wants a vaccine, you know, we're going to be dealing with this problem over and over and over again. Infectious disease experts say it's too early to draw conclusions about the severity of Omicron, but it bears repeating that the best way to minimize its impact is widespread vaccinations. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.